this is Lady in Tech channel, the do-it-yourself channel for everything electrical, PLCs, controls, and a little bit of fun. Make sure you subscribe. Hi, thank you for joining me on Ladies in Tech. This video is going to show you how to make a flashing bit. Um, we're going to create a bit that flashes on and on. The use for this that you would typically find in industry would be to say uh, turn a, a stack light on and off to indicate a fault or say a green flash flashing stack light that would indicate something's running so I'm going to show you how to create a flashing bit using timers so I'm going to start creating my program can't create on end rung so we'll put that in there I'm going to do a timer on instruction I'm going to give our timer a name And I'm going to create this flashing bit to come on every half a second. So I'm going to put my time base in milliseconds with the preset of uh, 5,000. So that'll be every half a second, or every five seconds, sorry. So we're going to put 500 in here. So we're every half a second. Now I'm going to um, go to my user again, and I'm going to put another timer in parallel. Give this guy a name. And it's also going to be set for half a second. So 500. And now I'm going to put some more logic in here. I'm going to go to my user and I'm going to put this guy here. What I'm going to do for an address here is t4 colon 0 slash done. So this timer will not start timing until this timer is done. And we're going to go OK. And over here, we're going to use examine if open. Or, if, yeah, if open. And this is going to be t4 colon 1 slash dm. And we're just going to give that a check mark, make sure we're all good. So the way I have the logic here is that this timer will time if timer T41 is not done. And T41 will begin counting when T4 colon 0 is done. So I'm just going to download that and I can show you how that works. Now you can see here that these done bits are flashing. So what's happening is is that if, as long as T4 colon 1 is not done, this timer is going to count. So once this is done, this one begins counting and for half a second this done bit is true, but then this guy becomes done and it opens up and that done bit's not true anymore. So here I have a flashing bit. You can see it flashing there. So now I'm going to show you how I'm going to use that bit in order to uh, make an output like a light turn on and off. So I'm just going to go offline. And what we'll do is all you have to do is take this done bit and put it in front of or in line with any of the logic that you have for that output. and it will cause it to flash. And we're going to download that now. And I'll sh it'll show you it flashing. And there you go. You can see this output here is flashing on and off for half a second. So if we um, this here has no conditions, it's going to flash on and off. So if you had a condition that the stack light say it will be on whenever you know you push a push button for example, we'll add a push button here so you'd have the two conditions causing this to be on or off. So I'm just going to start a run edit. I'm going to put a uh, 
just gonna put a binary in here so that I can force it on or off. There we go. And I'm going to accept wrong edits, test wrong edits, and we're gonna assemble those edits. So you can see here, even though that flashing bit is flashing, it still needs this condition to be true before that green stack light comes on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to force, I'm going to toggle this on, and now you can see that whenever this condition is true, you can make it whatever condition you want, and this is in line with it, that green stack light is flashing. So say this condition is uh, conveyor running, so then that green flashlight or stack light will flash on and off to indicate that the conveyor is running. So that's how you make a flashing bit, or one of the ways you can make a flashing bit in RSLogix.